Hi, I'm Andrew, an entrepreneur and a computer science student. Hi, I'm Raveen, a psychology major student. And you're now listening to the Ink Thoughts podcast, where we ponder and talk about incongruous thoughts ranging from our daily life to the human mind. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Ink Thoughts podcast. Today with me is Raveen over here uh, live, as in like she is like right beside me. <laughs> it's actually, yeah. Normally, it's live as well. Just that we're 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 communicating through uh, through Discord and all that. But yes, uh, second day. I mean, yesterday, uh, we recorded our previous episode because we have we have been resting for quite some time. I think prior to me coming back to 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 Malaysia, we rested for a week, and then the week where I came back to Malaysia, we rested as well. And then last week, we went to Penang and we rested as well. So now we are kind of like catching up on on a few of our episodes to make sure that everyone can have all of uh like have podcasts to listen to but i do have to say that yeah, not many people can listen <laughs> true I mean, I mean i mean there was a search search i think two weeks ago i don't know why it was like on av- on 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 average okay. average okay. yeah on on one, but on, but on, on average there's like 30 37 listeners per day and i know i know that that that, that might sound very few for for many but yeah that's totally a lot for us that that, that caused us to kind of breach like the 700 listener uh, total listener in like just a week from like 600 so that, that was quite amazing but yes uh other than that is there anything interesting that 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 happened to you within this day marine <laughs> <laughs> oh it, something interesting um, i guess it's just like we have to wake up early to today because oh, it's yeah. Andrew's sister's birthday. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, a, it's yeah, actually yeah, not that celebration. Yeah. Oh, when's the when's the actual actual day? Tuesday. Oh, okay. I'm glad you know. <laughs> I told you I actually don't know, but yeah, like yeah, this this morning we had to wake up. Yeah, literally, I just I just asked her to knock on our door, and then it's like six six thirty in the morning. I was like, oh, we have to oh, wake oh, up. She she knocked on the door. Yeah, she knocked. Oh, you didn't hear? No. <laughs> yeah, that's why I actually res- responded like, okay, something like that. Then then. Then it took us like thirty minutes to like, yeah. like get off the bed and then and then went to went to get uh get ourselves dressed dressed for, 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 for this this tiny occasion thing. Yeah. But yeah, like overall it's, it's quite fun, you know. Um blowing balloons, pumping balloons, tying up <laughs> balloons to the way she likes and then she had a few friends coming over, yeah. having some fun. And the, the interesting thing is that yeah. I, I I realized that she I don't know, I mean it's it's kinda of good thing and uh it's 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 not not so normal in the Asian culture, <laughs> but what she did is like, cause like we um, in in Asia, uh, more in, uh, in particular in Malaysia, I think because of security, it's quite a huge concern. I think maybe in the in the past twenty thirty years, starting in the past twenty thirty years, security became a real concern. So most of us lived in gated communities where we hire a, a security guard that that would just like walk around, just to make sure that there that there won't be any robberies and all that. So yeah, we we live in one one as well, and so what she did is that she she and her friends just literally wrote wrote a few few letters and then they dropped into people's mailbox, yeah, <laughs> and then and then some people, of course, uh, for us they they are a bit concerned like why is there suddenly, uh, letters coming into our our mailbox which that is isn't addressed to anyone it it, it it's it's just like a f- like I think she wrote I uh, who are you something like that. Yeah, that's why they, they, they took it to the, the security guard and then the security guard came over and asked, asked whether, uh, whether it's actually from our house. Because I think it, this happened another time before yeah. this. So, so they kind of have the record thing. So that's why this happened. And then, yeah, uh, but it, uh, it is, it is her, but then like, uh, it became a small matter. I think my, my, my dad and my mom kind of had to send out a few messages through like group chat saying, that, oh, you know, it's, it's my, my sister that did this. So sorry about that. And all this, but then I was like, mm, okay, that's quite interesting. I mean, I you know it's, it's kids, kids doing kids stuff. But then, yeah, just that I would say that the Asian community is slightly more sensitive. Not, not saying that this is entirely right, but then, you know, kids doing all this kind of kids, like who haven't been kids before. So like, this, this, this should be something normal, but. Yeah, I mean, just that it's not part of our culture, culture for this to happen. Yeah, true. When I when I know about that, I, I immediately can imagine what will be my parents' response. If, Which is like scolding at you. Yeah, <laughs> if if it happens, at, in my, I mean, if me or my brothers do it, yeah. Mm. Yeah, my dad and mom will be super angry and yeah. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Um. 
Yes, it was I remember there's something else that I kind of want to talk about. We talk about this waking up thing, blah blah blah. What else? So is there anything else? Uh, okay, I guess I guess not really. But yeah, like so today, I mean originally we had a a topic that we wanted to talk about, but we're just like, you know what? Um, maybe not. <laughs> you know, because like, I mean <laughs> the 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 thing about having a topic is sometimes we we do need to have uh, some idea on what. What we're going to talk about, and since in this case we don't actually have an I- I- idea yet, so we're like, might as well let's just make this make this podcast a a free flowing podcast. I don't know how what, what do you call that? Like basically, there's there's no title, not limited by any title or whatever. You know, we just go ahead with our own plans, talk about whatever we want to talk about. Even though I would say that talking about whatever we want to talk about is. It's a challenge as well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you have anything in particular to talk about now? If no, maybe I can talk about something else. I think that would be great. Yeah, I think right. you'll start first. While right. I actually try to figure this, this um, this notion thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So just now when you talk about um, we Asian living in like gay community, mm-hmm. so actually thought of something. Uh. I don't know why, but since young, uh, I rarely in, uh, interact with my neighbors mm, because all okay. of the time, my parents will just ask us to close the door. Close it's, the door, don't go out, you know, it's dangerous outside, yeah. there's a lot of strangers, you might get kidnapped, and then you might, I don't know, like, you might get, get knocked, out, knocked by a car, you know, yeah, all this kind of stuff. Exactly. Never even go to the playground, there's like mosquitoes, you might get dengue, but then like, obviously it's just very, very dangerous, so you shouldn't do that. Yeah, exactly. And and even growing up until today, I'll say uh where I live now, mm-hmm. if let's say in during the daytime maybe it's still quite safe. Okay. Yeah. But still um the first thing I'll think of is to quickly <laughs> close the door once I get in or get out. Okay, okay. Yeah. So I feel like um I, I don't know, maybe it's kind of good if the security is not good at a particular place because you are more cautious okay yeah but if let's say it's okay it makes you feel like you're ex- yeah you're too anxious I guess. yeah mm. that's, that's and and sometimes mm. if oh i can share one experience i had last time mm. so uh, before i moved to this house so that that place i wouldn't say it's like a very unsafe place it's still quite safe at least from where where the location i live because because um it's quite near to the security guard house yeah mm-hmm. so um and they sometimes when they walk around they're usually because that's considered the main road within the neighborhood yeah okay. yeah so there's one time i think it's around 18 years old so um uh me and my friends were going to a camp mm-hmm. mm. interesting yeah so that time um his uh, her brother came and fetched us because we we still can't drive that time, yeah. So when I wait sixteen or eighteen? Eighteen. Eighteen. Eight? Seventeen. I guess. Yeah, seventeen. Yeah, I seventeen. Like, seventeen. I, I, I thought you could. could yeah, have, seventeen. You, you can drive that time. But yeah, okay. seventeen. <laughs> okay. Uh, that time, uh, her brother came and fetched us. So when I'm walking out, it's it's in the afternoon around two to three p.m. When I'm walking out, I saw a moto motorbike mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and the person actually dressed dress up like it covered every single uh, okay I, I get what you mean uh so basically they have they are wearing fully covered costumes mm-hmm. yeah yeah and then uh he even covered his head just left with two eyes wow yeah Seriously? Yes, That's that makes me... Yeah, right. Because most of the time when we see something like robbery or something, it usually the robbers dress up like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he drives on the motorbike and he passed by me. I'm like... For one second, I'm like, oh my god, what is happening? I'm really scared. Mm-hmm. I scared something happened to any of our neighbor's house Ooh. or something. Oh, that's really nice of you. Uh, if, if, if it's me, I'll just get something will happen to me. I probably won't think that I much. I mean, for me and also my neighbors, lah, yeah. okay, not, okay. not just them. Okay. Yeah. I'm so scared. Once I get into my uh, my friend's brother's ha- uh, car, mm. then I immediately call my mom. Then she's like, oh, really? Then she, she kind of like, okay, fine. Um, she tried to find out 
Oh. Oh, what happened? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so yeah. Did anything actually happen? No. Oh, we're just I a guy doing cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, nothing had happened. So I was so scared even until I, I reached the campsite. Oh, okay, the really? campsite is actually a school, yeah. Is it your school? No, no not my school. Else? Somewhere else. So it's Where is it? Like, uh, I, just, I, don't I think maybe like around Puchong area or oh, KL area. Oh, yeah. that, that's not that far. Yeah. That's actually very close. Yeah. yeah. But, but we take public transport there. La. Oh, it's okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, you yeah. know, carrying so many stuff together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then it's a school, part. so you need to to bring some some sort of like sleeping bag or some, uh, bucket to fill in water or something. Yeah, <laughs> so so during the whole journey, I'm like so worried, but then uh, I think at uh at night or the second day, my mom told me it seems like it's someone that that is just trying not to, uh. <laughs> Wait, trying to block the sun <laughs> yes, yes, from yes. themselves yes because nothing had happened throughout that that <laughs> few days nothing literally not, nothing I'm like okay I mean it's quite a normal thing I mean probably you would have done that yeah. if, 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 if you go to go, go to like 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 like, like Tioman or something I mean like one of those those popular island uh, island travelling nations in, in, yeah. in Malaysia just that yeah. he drives up so similar so to suspiciously yeah. yes okay okay I get it I get it yeah. I mean like that's a common conception uh. yeah yeah I mean but yeah, okay, okay. I mean that that's that that's that's quite true. I don't know, I don't know. I guess uh, is it is Malaysia that then dangerous? I don't know. Like since I is, was, but it's, it seems like not that dangerous though. Ah uh, yeah yeah, I actually don't know because like I don't know, but but at least in our culture, like, like from what you see, like uh, gated communities and all this, mm. it just seems like we are in a lot more uh a. A state which is a lot more danger dangerous than compared to like US UK. I mean, in US UK, definitely that that's dangerous pla- uh, places where which are more dangerous. But I mean, like 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 at least in Nottingham or at least in in US Seattle area, which which I've been to and actually uh, lived in an actual house, Mm-mm. there is no gated community and all that. Yeah, Mm-mm. yeah. So like it's like literally open open neighborhood and all that. So I I don't get it. And even when I was young, yeah. I did have this fear, so I even I think when I was around ten or something, I was so afraid of my my I was so so afraid of being home alone because I don't know I just get that like you know that 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 there might be robbery case happening and all that. So I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm not sure if it's if it's teacher teacher in uh teacher and and all the education uh stuff that that implanted all this idea into our head like when you you know you have to be careful and all this. I don't know, man. Uh, but you just. It the, it just gave me the idea that it is it is this dangerous, like even in UK I don't know like at, at least for touch wood I, I wouldn't want to encounter all this all this kind of stuff. But because like in UK I walk a lot because first thing first we oh sorry about that first thing first I don't have a car and then second is that I mean uh is there another reason other than don't have car if I have car would I have drive around. <laughs> um, but I, I mean, another reason is that uh, the the weather is okay yeah. for you to to just like walk around. I mean, it's uncomfortable in a sense that it is cold, mm. but then it's not uncomfortable in a sense that it makes you sweaty. It's like humid, like in Malaysia, where but when you get back home, you would want to get a shower. In in UK, okay, I would I would get a warm shower because that's my habit. But then like it, it's it's not uh, uncomfortable to the stage that you want to do a lot of stuff to make yourself comfortable. You can literally just jump into a bed and then just sleep. So it it's it's something that 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 encourages walking on us, and I and I'll actually do that all uh do that at night, and of course I will I will feel that it 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 feels dangerous, but then actually it's not, but in Malaysia I don't know it just feels like that's 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 very unsafe, mm. at least in my conception. Mm-mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I just thought of one thing like um, usually because usually I. I go to yoga classes at night, oh. so because of t- uh timing issues, so usually I go to the nine pm class. So I end my class around ten fifteen to ten within ten fifteen to ten thirty. Mm. So during that time, that area oh okay earlier that area will be more lively. Mm. Many people are around and many cars, but uh around ten pm something there's lesser car, and sometimes there's just um, a a group of people talking there, maybe I'm not sure. Uh, they are maybe uh, some other immigrants uh, and all. Yeah, that yeah, that. yeah. Or or just some stores uh selling something. 
mm-hmm. beside them, then they just gathered that. Okay. And I don't know why, because I I'm alone. That just makes me extra anxious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. So I'll quickly walk towards the car, get <laughs> into it, and then quickly um uh lock uh, it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Before even before I start the car or okay. anything. Yeah. Mm, okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, yeah. I mean, I can't compare this exact situation to the UK, but I would compare <laughs> a situation whereby, like, I would, I don't know, I, in in UK at least, like, people would just leave their laptops and or, or just personal belongings there, and then they'll head to the toilet, they'll go somewhere else, and then they'll come back and all this. Like, we generally feel like it's safe for things to just leave it this way. Like, even because I live in a shared dorm, so we share like toilets and uh, toilet and bathroom and sometimes I would just leave my door unlocked or when I get out something because like, it, it just makes it easier I don't want to like, get my keys and lock the door and then when I come back I need to open it up again yeah I don't know it's like it's quite normal for them to do that yeah I don't know why it's it's like already part of their culture to just like be a lot more uh, trusting of others and I don't know why in Malaysia I mean I thought of doing that, but then I just wouldn't really dare to because um, I feel like, yeah, there's still a risk. Like, there's that embedded idea that in Malaysia, this risk just exists, so I shouldn't do this. But I don't know why in UK, it's... People do it, so that's why I, I, I started doing it. But then, this this idea of people are still doing it makes me think that you know so that that kind of that that's kind of uh, evidence that their 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 safety they uh, it's a lot a lot safer in, in in the uk maybe compared to malaysia otherwise like i mean in malaysia people would have stopped doing that as well right isn't it mm-hmm. yeah especially yeah. oh especially when when we have something else we won't live in the car i mean <laughs> yeah, in the yeah. sitting area yeah you know, we always so put many, it in a boot or something so otherwise many. people would just yeah. We just uh, break the window. I mean, I mean that that did ha- uh, happen to Ali Abdul's car. Oh. Oh yeah, in in London, that actually happened. He talked about it. I think towards the one of, one of the video toward, towards the end of last year. So that actually happened. But it's pop. I'm not sure. But yeah, I mean, while well, we're living in the city in in in, in Malaysia, but then like Nottingham is not mm. really considered <laughs> a city ish. I mean, uh, it's 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 like maybe right between a town and the city. So yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Mm-mm-mm. So, is it because it's safer? Because it's like a lot more remote? I'm not sure if... Uh, what's a correlation between safetyness and remoteness of an, of an area? Oh, okay. If, if let's I mean, Kajang like... is quite remote as well, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's true, isn't it? Ooh. Considerably remote. Can be, but... It's like kind of a suburb. It's like... Yeah... Um, okay, like compared to like 20, 30 years ago, of course, it's a lot more better now. Mm. Yeah. From from the first time that my father came to <laughs> Kajang area because of study mm. from Para, it's okay. even more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a lot better now. Yeah. And then, and then just when you say like remote areas, uh, when we are back in hometown, mm. sometimes, yeah, I, I realize they, they, yeah, more tend, they, they tend to leave their door open. Oh, Unlock or they they might just like close but mm. not they they won't lock it. Oh okay okay yeah. okay. <laughs> until until at night when they are going to sleep. Mm, okay okay. Yeah, so maybe there's some correlation between okay, okay. these two. Possibly possibly. So mm-hmm. maybe I can't I can't really direct compare this with with Nottingham. Mm-mm. I mean Seattle is a city though. <laughs> but yeah, I mean <laughs> I don't know. But but yeah, like, I I mean I don't have enough data staying mm. there. I mean I've been staying here my whole life. So and over there. Uh, even in the UK, it's like the 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 longest time I've lived, in, I've 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 been living somewhere that's not my house, yeah. So, yeah, mm-hmm. mm. yeah. Maybe it's just a city thing and a remote thing. Yeah. Mm. Okay, let me share one of my brother's funny story. Okay, okay, sure. Oh my God, you're gonna ex- expose it's expose okay. him over he here. Won't know. <laughs> or maybe one day. Hopefully, we're popular enough for him to know this. Okay, so, so I think uh. That time, my youngest brother, he's okay. He's sixteen this year. Mm-hmm. So last time when he stayed in primary school, mm-hmm. I forget which year that is. So, uh, when we need to go up to do something or buy something, then he's alone at home. 
actually just mm-hmm. for just for an hour or what. Okay. Yeah. But then uh he he was practicing wushu. Okay. Last time. Martial arts basically yeah. some 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 one one form of Chinese martial art. Yeah, yeah. So so he do have some of those what is it called? A sword? Is uh, it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Is it a but, sword? No, yeah. Okay. Practice but, sword something. Yeah, so so it's actually soft, it's not those hard mm-hmm. ones. Yeah. But anyhow, you see get everything prepared. Oh, <laughs> and then? And then, a lot of stuff go through his mind. He's like so dramatic when we, we, are, we, we are not at home. <laughs> Getting prepared. One, what if something happens? He has to protect himself. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And, 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 and where, would, uh, where, where would he be? Huh? In front of the living room door. Oh, really? He just stands there? He, yeah, just that area. He, he stands there or they, he sits there like, yeah, getting to them. Yeah. For like the whole period, like, like let's say you, if you guys are out for like one hour, you'll just be there for like an hour waiting I, for things to I happen. I he'll, he'll, he'll be around the living room area, not not like uh, standing there for an hour. Lah. That's okay, so boring, okay. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean like that is some kind of fear or some kind of anxiety yeah. in him yeah. that will cause him to yeah. like like concentrate on, on on this thing for like for so, so long over there. Yeah, I I don't think he he stand there for that long. Okay. He just yeah. At least he get things prepared some somewhere he can reach, and then once we come back, he told us uh-huh. <laughs> we can't stop laughing. Yeah. <laughs> is is dramatic. that just is is that just once or like or like many times? I think it happens like two to three times, but after that, he's okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Have I done? I mean, like, I, I mean, watching Home Alone was quite a cool thing, you know? Because I, have you watched Home Alone? No. Hmm? I, I doubt you have watched Home Alone. You mean, you mean staying at Home Alone? The, the, no, the movie. There's a movie oh, called Home Alone. Alone. It's a very popular movie. It's a, it's a it's a popular Christmas classic. It's like something that you must watch during Christmas. Okay, I mean like, it's not a thing in Malaysia, but then like over in in the UK and the US, it's a Christmas classic. Like even they will, it's it's actually it's quite an old movie. Let me just search it up. Yeah, you should probably write it down and you should watch it. <laughs> Let me search home alone. I mean, there's been like five five episodes by now, but the first one. Let me see. Yeah, look at him. He's so old already. Mac- Macaulay Culkin is it? <laughs> to be honest, I don't know him. 1990. Look, look at look at this. 1990. Oh. Yeah, and then there's even the fifth one is 20, uh, 20 2012, and then there's one that's 2021. That's interesting. Is it real? Okay, this is terrible. I mean, the first one is the best. The first and the second is the best. Other than that, it's quite bad. Yeah, there's even one one I forgot four or four or five where there's. Do you know Scarlett Johansson? Yeah, just like just like how I don't remember all the all the all the Chinese Chinese uh Chinese uh, song artists. Yeah, you don't know all the all the American American yeah. actors actors and actresses. So Scarlett Johansson is basically Black Widow. Do you know who's Black Widow? Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, you know such this. Yeah, yeah. She 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 start in one of one of the earlier maybe three. I don't know. I think no. I think four or five. I think four or five. Yeah, she was she was in it. Yeah, so. Yeah, uh, Home Alone is like a Christmas classic, and then inside Home Alone, I'll uh, I'm just spoil I'll just spoil a bit for you. So basically, there's this family where, uh, where they because like usually in during Christmas, it's actually a US based family where they they are traveling abroad because like you know it's Christmas, mm-hmm. it's holiday, and all this, and then the 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 kid was messing around the day before they travel travel, and that's why the 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 the, the mother. In order to punish him, uh, the mother actually sent him up to the attic to, to, to stay there for, for, for one night. Mm-hmm. And then the next day when they're traveling, they, of course, they, 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 did, they, they did the head count and then to make sure that there's, because like the house is quite big and then there's, a, there's a, a bunch of children, a few families and all that. So they did a head count and then make sure that, oh, so there's, there's, there's correct number of people. Mm-hmm. And then the, the head count was correct. Because one of their neighbor was like checking out what what they actually brought, so they were like, "Oh my god, you brought you you brought like like a DVR recorder and uh, DVR recorder back then, like when when what you record video and all that, you 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 brought all this kind of stuff." And then and then when when they bought it bought it the van, the the neighbor just stepped out, I was like, "Bye, have a great trip," and then the, the, the kid walked away. And oh. so yes, the mom missed the kid, and then the kid was like just just staying in the attic. And then the the night before that, the kid just said, "I wish that I will never have to see you again." Like talk is he said this to her mom and then the wish was granted amazing yeah oh, but no. the, the 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 scary part is that so there's because like okay people know uh, they they know that all these 
uh, all these families are going to travel. So there are there are robbers that that has already aimed at all these few oh, houses mm-hmm. and then they want to break in. Yeah, so so, so so to steal some stuff. So they they aim at this particular house and then they, they, they thought that people were out. But then the, the, the kid the kid knew that, that there are people going to break in. So he find ways to just act like there is people in this house. Like very mm-hmm. interesting and creative ways. Mm-hmm. So initially, a uh, uh, first few days, he actually fooled fool, fool those uh, fool those people into not getting in the house. But then, the uh, the two robbers came to realize that okay, so it's actually there is just this kid in this house. Oh my so god! It shouldn't be a problem. We can just like oh my break god. into this house and then steal all the stuff. And so, in order to protect protect this house, just like your brother, what your brother did. <laughs> but it, this is he's he's a lot more creative and a lot more strategic where he used all his toys and all this in different ways to protect his house make sure that the uh, the robbers couldn't get in mm-hmm. yeah he made it and then yeah what happened oh yeah he made it and then uh so i mean the the, the robber kind of got i don't know the robber is a bit dumb <laughs> in a way where they got in initially they were just trying to get in the house they couldn't get in they found a way to get in the house and then instead of stealing stuff it ends up them trying to to catch the kid you know oh. it's, it's kind of stupid so so I'll, I'll say that the the what was that emotional quotient of those of those robbers are quite low in the end that way they they, they forget about their, their initial goal in and, and and they ended up they ended up going into uh going for something that's more emotional which is like because like <laughs> they, they got they kind of got you know, bullied by the kid so they, they're trying to catch the kid and then in the, uh but after that he, he he kind of find, found a way to to uh, to call the police and then and then get mm-hmm. the police to to, to catch the thieves out yeah so that happened and then the family came back realized oh everything is nice and all this yeah so that, did that, they realize that, that they they left that, the kid? yeah 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 they did they did so so what what actually happened was that the mom because like they they flew to Paris and then yeah uh, and then the mom was like so worried she, she realized that she forgot about the kid mm-hmm. right on the plane flying to Paris and then right over at Paris she <laughs> right over at Paris what, what, what she did was that she tried to find any kind of flight that can fly back because mm-hmm. I mean it's during winter mm-hmm. it's during Christmas so uh, it's during winter during Christmas so yeah it's, it's, it's basically hard because everybody is flying all the flights are full and then and then sometimes there might be snowstorm and all this which would cancel some flights so she waited many many days I think yeah she she, she, she got lucky and got a ticket to fly back and then uh, find find his child there safe and then the whole family flew back early as well because there's nothing to do with Par- in Paris oh. yeah. for them for them for them I mean yeah so 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 they, they flew back early and then yeah they, they, they have a beautiful, beautiful time back at their house in Chicago so yeah it's mm. amazing yeah, so yes, that's that's Home Alone, the, the Christmas classic, explained by me maybe within five minutes or maybe longer than that. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe I should go and watch it after this. Yes, you should definitely. You should definitely. I mean, it's it's really. I, I was really surprised when I when I when I got to UK and realized that they 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 have a few Christmas classics where they they actually replay it um, in the cinemas. They sell oh. tickets and all this during Christmas. Wow. Yeah, yeah, and 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 one of because like this Home Alone is more like. Uh, a classic for like for like children's. Mm. I mean, adults watch as well. It's quite an interesting movie. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but there is actually a Home Alone for adults, mm. which is called Die Hard. They 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 literally said Die Hard is basically Home Alone for adults, which is quite amazing. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I, I watched that last year as well because I just never got a chance to watch it, and then might as well. Why not? There's actually quite a lot. Of- and during Christmas time. Yeah, actually oh. on the day of Christmas, on the oh. day of Christmas. Yeah, yeah, on the day of Christmas, like with my friends in the TV room back in Willoughby mm-hmm. Hall. Yeah, that's why I did so. Yeah, I, I watch that quite amazing. Uh, there's 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 quite a few few episodes as well. I think now it's like maybe Die Hard Five or something. But always it's the first one that's the best. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> 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 Anything else you want to talk about about security? We kind of ventured from like the the safety in Malaysia, then into Home Alone. Anything else? Can't think of any for now. Mm, okay. okay. Uh, do you want should we just end our spontaneous episode here like we kind of have this have, have yeah. this terrible habit where they kind of we kind of just make make our episodes shorter and shorter and shorter <laughs> and shorter I don't know I mean like ever since I came back to Malaysia Varin kind of got my my what do we call this it's not habit that's a better term to it 
uh, my laziness i'll just say that laziness <laughs> yeah we, we just kind of got lazy as because like it's this week is actually the third week that i haven't been uploading a youtube video and i okay. don't plan to upload one next week as well probably the week when i head back to uk probably i'll do do one i don't know man i mean another thing is that i'm, I'm kind of working on all my assignments now. so now, now i have like one lab and then two presentation and one exam coming soon so yeah those are a bit just something that i've been procrastinating on yeah i, I kind of hate that as well but Yes, other than that, I don't know why we're just lazier. Yeah, but for me also, because mm, because I, I think maybe, maybe like uh, other than like my working time, which I cannot do anything, I have to just work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I prefer spending time with you. Yay, so, so like other stuff that I should be doing, I tend to procrastinate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah. same, same thing as well. I, mean, I think like, I have to. I mean, the, one yeah. of the greatest reasons that I came back to Malaysia is to meet you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, so yes. Um, any other stuff? Mm, I think that's all. Any amazing insights which I've thought of during this twenty-four hours? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same. I did have fun, but I, 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 I did forget. I the one thing that I really hate about Malaysia is that there's so much cars here. And then yesterday oh, we spent yeah. thirty minutes inside the shopping mall trying to find a car park. Yeah, I literally went through all the permutations of all the all the routes that I can go through the parking uh the parking lot, and luckily because I went through a route where I believe rarely people actually go through that, and I found a, a lucky parking right in the corner, and that's where I ended my thirty minute <laughs> park uh parking space search, which is yeah, um, I'm glad that I did that. Mm, yeah. But yeah, like, other than that, I wouldn't say that I've I've I've, I've got any insights. Like I, I'll just convince. I'll just say. People in Malaysia, you guys should stop buying cars, you know. You should you should stop buying cars and start using public transport. Yeah. Even though I know it's hard, but then like, just try, you know. Just try. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, like, other than that, uh, I guess that's it for this episode. This spontaneous episode where we discuss, I'll say, we discuss our safety in Malaysia and home mm. alone. And uh, if, you, if, you, if you do like our podcast and all this, do follow us on your favorite podcast uh, podcast listening platform and do leave us a rating and comment wherever possible or even email to us. So yes, I guess that's it. And thanks everyone for listening to this episode and hope to see you guys in the next week's episode. So bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to this episode of the podcast. If you enjoyed, do share with your friends and family and leave us a review on the Apple podcast. If you are not using an Apple device, you can leave a review on the Apple Podcast website with the link in the show notes. If you have any feedback or thoughts which you hope that we'll discuss in the future, feel free to email them to us at hello at ingthoughts.com or alternatively, you can send us a private message on our Facebook, Instagram or Twitter with the username of ingthoughtsport. Thanks again and see you all next week. Bye-bye.